We sit out here 100 miles away from any other ethanol plants. Very little demand or interest for our CO2, so it was really a good fit for us to join in with Summit and their pipeline. We sure didn't want to miss that opportunity because it's probably the only opportunity that we're going to have. Summit Carbon Solutions grew from Summit Agricultural Group, which is a, an investment company that invests on the intersection of innovation and alternative energy. They contracted with a group of ethanol plants who were committed to capturing their carbon. We worked with them to develop a pipeline system and transport that to North Dakota where we're going to store it permanently. Being a new plant, we don't have any capital available to make improvements. And that was a really big thing for us to be able to take advantage of carbon capture without having to try to get the capital to do such a big project. Carbon capture is definitely important for our industry. The new markets that are going to open for us are uh, international markets, uh, say Canada uh, is adopting a low carbon fuel standard. We have about 52 CI score on that. Once we can capture our carbon, that score immediately goes down by 30 points. Keeping RingNet competitive with the plants that are getting the low CI scores, so we can sell in Oregon, so we can sell in California, that keeps this, this plant on the cutting edge, and, and we need to be there. The farmers need it, the community needs it to be there. And I, when I say community, I'm talking Hughes, Stanley, Sully, Potter, Hyde, Hankind, not just one, you know, not just right here. I'm talking to a big area. I think the biggest concern we hear is, does my land come back into full production? Summit Carbon Solutions will be very specific to make sure that that, ag that agronomic nature of your acre returns itself to what we would call normal APH. And again, we take the opportunity to pay for three years of lost crop production in the formulas that we use to compensate the landowner. We have had Mid-Dakota water lines go through, REA buried some lines, this and that. But in my experience, I, I think we'll see it back to a normal yield within two to three years, you know but we believe we're just short-term caretakers of the land. That's, you know, it's, we want to leave it better tomorrow than we got it today. And if we felt this was detrimental to our land, I can tell you we would, we would not have signed an easement. So 